What's a thing you learned that you think, wow, that's that was an that's important. Hmm. Um, I will. Uh, Sometimes I mean, miracles happen. Miracles right. happen. You know, well, if this is I don't I didn't think you were going to talk about the lesson you learned. Prostitutes carry disease. But miracles do happen. I mean, it could clear up. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> the antibiotics work. No, uh, I was going to say, what, what strikes me is that, uh, saying that is that uh, we talk a lot about stuff all the time, and I'm very certain about many things. Yeah. Lots of times I'm pessimistic on the future. Mm-hmm. I it didn't never. Used to be. I mean, I'm. I think I don't. I don't expect good things to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an Eagles fan. I okay, expect okay. right. Okay, I get things it. are going get to it. turn wrong. You're going to get an moment. ice ball to the head, and your right. team is going to lose. Totally got it. Uh, I cannot believe that Roe versus Wade was overturned. To yeah. this to this moment, it's still the most one of the most shocking things that has happened since we started talking about the news eight zillion years ago together. I, I the entire time we were talking about that, I never bought. That this would actually occur. And so I, it's still to me the biggest news story of the year of, I don't know how, I mean, we're talking about 63 million people that uh, that are not alive that should have been. So it's a pretty big one. I think maybe one of the biggest stories we've ever covered. Mm-hmm. And it it's, you know, it's weird how fast this happens. It goes from, oh, well, it's overturned to, well, how will it affect the midterms in like eight seconds? Like, yeah, I so I don't know that we actually really focused on it, but still a lot of work to be done on that one. But that right. that that's shocking to me. That was a, a stunning moment. And I learned at times to maybe tamp down my, my pessimism. We talked on your show last night. Um, I don't know, Stu does something. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and we talked about the biggest story of the year. I didn't ask you what you thought the biggest story of the year was. No, I, that I think that has to be it. That has to, to be me. It. That has to be it because we've, we've talked about this before in that. I think it would be a terrible, terrible show to be clear, a terrible, awful show. But if we came in here every day, we could morally justify only talking about abortion. Morally, morally, it would be an awful show and no one would listen to it. Right. But morally, that choice would be justified mm-hmm. because of just the impact on the world. Uh, I mean, you know the number worldwide? We talk about 63 million in the United States. It's a big number. The number worldwide is a billion. A billion. A billion people that should be alive that are not. Well, it's a good thing because we don't have the space or the resources <laughs> for them, Stu. Oh, yes. I, I Look, I cheer for people, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. more people to be here, to be alive. I think it's a good thing. Uh, so I know I'm out on a limb these days. I tell you, the, the good news on abortion, um, I guess what I learned this year, the biggest learn, uh, lesson I learned was um, you shouldn't be overwhelmed because we're only fighting one thing. Every time in the last 20 years, I'll see something. I'll be like, geez, how are we going to watch that one too? This is on fire. That's on fire. This is on fire. They're doing this while they're doing this. And we felt overwhelmed. And that was their their key. And it, with abortion, you see what they're doing. I mean, the FBI is gloating. They're gloating, the Justice Department, about going after these activists. Um, and you see what... The hospitals are doing, trying to make sure that if you're a doctor, you have to do it. If you're a nurse, you have to do it. Um, You have the surgeries, the mutilation surgeries of our children now. And then Canada. Canada is now taking it on all of it. They, They were, you know, compassionate for old people who are really sick and they have no chance of living. That went away. I mean, that's 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 so 2016. They are now. Um, allowing children, if they can ask for it, if they don't feel they have a future and a reason to live, they can ask their doctor for suicide drugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's insanity what's going on, but those are all really the same story. Directly related, directly related. What's happening. Yeah. It's a culture of death and destruction it is a culture of absolute chaos. Who do you trust? Who is on your side? Who is standing up for life? Well, 
we know now that the system is so corrupted, it is evil. It is evil. You know, I told you at one point, if we're not careful, we will become the darkest nation ever to be on earth. We will be, we will make, I've said this for 25 years, we will make the Nazis look like rookies. Gang, remember I used to talk to you about we're on a highway and there's lots of exits, but at some point we're going to come to a bridge. I think we've already come to the bridge. We're already there. There's no more exits left. But we can, we're shooting off the, the normal American bridge. Ah, and about 25 feet down, there's another, there's another highway. This one is the highway to hell. This is the highway that our destination at the end of this one is we're the Nazis. I suggest we stop the car soon. Get off at the nearest exit and find your way back home. You can't get back on that old highway. You're going to have to find new ways, but get back. You're going in the wrong direction. We are fighting evil. And I think I'm more optimistic, (laughs) believe it or not, because I know who the enemy is now. Oh, people could totally sense your optimism in that last uh, that last rant. (laughs) The last rant where we jumped off the highway to the Nazi land, they were like, oh my gosh, how much optimism can I take in one morning? (laughs) Nothing says Christmas like Nazis. Okay. So um, their flag was red. (laughs) Their flag was red. Yeah. And And uh, they were environmentalists. So red and green. There you go. Right. Just like Christmas. So anyway, um, the, the optimism comes from, I know how that battle ends. I don't know how the battle for America ends. I don't. I, I hope. I know what I hope. I think we are down to saving it in remnants. I don't know if we have. I don't know if we're holding the winning hand politically. We are morally, and we are for the test of time. Might be twenty years. Might be a thousand years. But the people who are standing against what's happening right now in America. You are on the right side, and historians will recognize that at some point. Don't know when. Um, But I will tell you that I believe we were all born for a reason. We're born at this time in this country with the skills that you have. You may say, I have no skills. You do. Whatever it is, as long as you stand and are immovable unless the spirit tells you to move immovable on principles. You win. You're part of the winning team. We're not on the Eagles team. We, we are the Philadelphia Eagles. When it comes to politically, we might have a good season. We're probably going to screw it up. <laughs> this is hurtful. They're 12 and one. We should point out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This I is know. important. I to know. Note. Yeah, I know. How much confidence do you have? I have no confidence. Okay, see, there you go. I will tell you. They might go to the Super Bowl, and they might win. Right. I literally (laughs) thought they were going to lose the Super Bowl every single second until the ball hit the ground on (laughs) the last play. Literally. I know. And that's the way I feel about our country. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I feel like we might do it. We have a chance. We've made some really great plays lately. Mm Mm-hmm. But until the clock says zero (laughs) and the score is in our favor, I ain't counting on anything. So what is it that you learned this year? Jeanette in Virginia. Stock up on supplies (laughs) to hold off on big purchases and to always question the media and always question the government's uh, decisions. Okay, so these are new to you? These are things that you were, I mean, they, they may have been crossing your mind, but they were cemented this year, or they were new they to were you? They were cement this cemented. year. I am, I am doing everything I can. I listen to you every day. Yeah, thank you for that. It is, um, I, I think that's where I am, too. You know, I knew these things were coming, and I, and I you know, I knew that evil was a part of it, but I... I know you I'm immovable now. 
Thank you so much. Corinne in Washington. I have learned that I'm capable of more oh. than I ever thought I was and handling more than I ever thought I could. And that in an area that I don't necessarily agree with the direction, I can put myself in the middle of it and be a positive light. I work at an elementary school. I don't necessarily agree with the direction that some of our state is going education-wise. But I can be, I can't talk to the kids about Jesus, but I can show him through my interactions with them. I can be positive. I can be happy. I can be a smile that they see every day. I have to tell you, I think the most effective Christians are not the ones who put on the happy face, but the ones that are truly at peace and weather storm after storm after storm. And eventually, when you watch these people and they're so kind and gracious and the things that upset everybody else don't seem... For instance, people don't understand when you you mourn, but you're not hysterical at a funeral. Because I know where they're going. I know this is, I I know where they're going and I know I'm going to see them again. And so it's hard. It's really hard, but you don't lose hope. And I think those kind of people, which you kind of sound like Corinne, um, the people who just live it are the ones that people come up to eventually when they're in hard times and go, what is it that you have? What is it? What drug are you on? What is it that you have that makes you so kind and happy and gracious. So Corinne, thank you so much for uh, calling in. I I will tell you one of the lessons I learned this year too, was that I am more capable uh, than I thought. And, and in different ways, you know, I started painting three or four years ago. I mean, seriously, but working all the time, three o'clock in the morning, I'd be up painting and practicing and, you know, uh, and if you take it seriously and really put the time in, you can do it. This year, uh, Tanya and I are buying each other a piano because I want to learn to play. I've always wanted to learn, always regretted. I didn't play an instrument. I didn't play the piano. So I'm going to learn. And because of what I learned by doing art, I know I can accomplish that. It just requires an awful lot of work, but it can happen. It can happen. Believe in yourself. You have so much more to offer than you realize. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.